with the release of the Pokemon Sword and Shield games, players can already go online and sign up for the Pokemon's first ever Sword and Shield online competition, Galar Beginnings. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today I'm gonna show you how to do just that. I'm gonna show you how to guys to log on and sign up for the Galar Beginnings online competition. In order to do this, obviously you need yourself a Nintendo Switch, a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield. For whatever reason you're watching this video and you think you could sign up with the Ultra Games in a 3DS, sorry, that is not the case. All the online competitions from this point forward, I believe is going to be exclusive to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now the Galar Beginnings online competition was announced way before the games dropped and not too much information was known about it. What we do know is the sign up period, which started on November 15th, the release of the games, and is gonna end on Thursday, December 5th. So you have up to December 5th in order to sign up. And in order to sign up, again, all you need is a copy of the game, a Nintendo Switch, and a online connection. Now, in order to sign up, what you need to do is in your game, bring up the options menu, the one that has the settings and the Pokemon and the bag, and the, the town map. It's also gonna have a versus symbol. Now, you need to have unlocked this versus symbol. I believe you get it, I wanna say, around the same time you get the Pokedex. It's very early on in the game you get it. It allows you to battle other trainers locally and online. And I'm thinking if you are signing up for the online competition, you probably already have this. I'm not too sure where in the game you actually gain access to this. But again, it is essential in order to sign up for the online competition. Once you click versus, it's gonna take you to a victory station where it's gonna say loading local communication and stuff like that don't worry about none of that what we want to focus on is going to the battle stadium you click the battle stadium the one that has the battlefield on me it's gonna be on the sword side I'm not too sure if his switches on the shield side if you're playing on Pokemon Shield. So when you click Battle Stadium, it's gonna say connecting, please stand by. You wait for that to load up so I can connect you to the internet and also connect you to the service. It's gonna say Battle Stadium. In the Battle Stadium, you can connect to other trainers around the world to take part in link battles and various battle competitions against one another. It says Battle Stadium casual battles lets you easily connect with all kinds of other players for battles. For a bit of fun, you might see some, some unexpected Pokemon and moves being used in these easygoing battles. Ranked battles are the real deal. This is where serious trainers go to take on one another and try to reach the highest rank. You can also show how strong your team is and it can go up and down based on the results of your battles. Online competitions use a different system to measure your skill as a trainer. Here, you can earn a number ranking that shows where you stand amongst the competition. For a fixed period of time, you will battle numerous number of trainers, and those battles will make your rating go up or down. Unlike the battle modes, it's up to you to search out and select a competition that you want to take part in. And then you get to the battle stadium menu where it says casual battles, rank battles, online competition, rental teams, and download rules. What you we are interested in right now is online competition. So you go to that, you click on that. It's gonna say checking the status of online competitions. It's gonna say online competitions can be broken down into two categories, official competitions and friendly competitions. In official competitions, you could take part in special battles with a variety of different rules and registration in order to see where you place. Details about the schedule for these competitions and restrictions on what Pokemon you can use in them are announced on the Pokemon's official website. I'm gonna have that website linked in the description for whatever reason you don't know it. It's the official Pokemon Sword and Shield website. It's just Pokemon.com. You click on Sword and Shield, it will take you to the Sword and Shield website. It says friendly competitions are competitions that are held by players themselves. These are casual battles where players come together and battle one another. You can try your hand at plenty of friendly competitions. Search for an official competition or a friendly competition and enter in one to take part in battles once the competition begins. Search out competitions with rules that sound like a fun challenge or that allow you to take part with the Pokemon you like. And then you get 
to the online competition menu where it says search for official competitions and there's actually a yellow bar on top of it saying accepting entries. I think that's going to be the way we sign up for the Galar Beginnings online competition. It's going to say search friendly competitions and host friendly competitions. So again, what you want to click on is search for official competitions which it tells you in bright yellow that they're accepting applicants for this online competition and then as you can see 001 galar beginnings it has a good start and end times for the sign up for this online competition that it's pretty cool it's pretty clear cut dry it says competition name galar beginnings competition period the times we went over this before it says time limit 10 minutes number of battles 15 battles a day time you can battle and it has the time that you can actually go in and participate in your battles. These all seem like standard stuff about how long a battle has to go, how long your turns go, the number of battles you can do per day, and what time of the, the battles actually start. It's all standard, same thing that we've been having for the same couple of years. Now just brought over to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now this online competition, Galar Beginnings, is gonna be a single battle competition. The number of Pokemon you can bring in is three, but you can have up to a team of six but then once you choose your battle team you only can select three that actually are going to participate into the battle the pokemon level are all set to level 50 so no matter if they pass level 50 or below level 50 they will be brought up to level 50 for these online competitions it says special pokemon are not allowed same pokemon are not allowed and same items are not allowed it's not a special list letting us know what pokemon is kind categorized as special in these games. I would think it would be the legendary Pokemon and uh, mythical Pokemon that are in these games as special Pokemon. I'm unsure if that is counting Gigamax Pokemon because we do know that there are in the game. We have the, the Pikachu, the Meow that we can get from events and stuff like that. I wonder, do they count as special Pokemon? You know what I'm saying? So as of right now, that's unclear. I will be making an update video as we get closer to this online competition explaining what those are, if those are posted on the official website I'll, got, I'll let you guys know as of right now there is no new information about what pokemon are not allowed in the galar beginnings online competition same pokemon meaning that you can't bring two of the same pokemon like you can't bring score bunny and score bunny on your team you can't have a team of grookey is not going to go down you only can have one of the pokemon in your battle team the same thing applies to items you can't have everybody with a silk scarf you can't have everybody with a focus band you must have each pokemon have a different item that they are holding into the online competition it says please make sure to read the following warnings before participating in the online competition if you're a minor please read them with a parent or guardian it says only one user per system is allowed to participate in this competition if you enter this competition another user of this system cannot enter this competition with Pokemon Sword. That is a good thing to know. A lot of people may have one Nintendo Switch in their household. However, multiple people may be playing that same Pokemon game and have their own save files on different profiles and stuff like that, which the Nintendo Switch allows. It's, this is stating that multiple people in the same household using the same Nintendo Switch cannot use the same Pokemon game in order to participate in online competitions. One of you guys have to pick who's going to do the online competitions and who's not going to do them, which I think is kind of unfortunate. But at the same time, I, I see the loophole where people can just have multiple accounts and just have multiple tries in this online competition. They want to keep it fair where people are not spoofing inside these online competitions and where you are playing that you're playing on your Nintendo Switch. And just because you lose a couple of rounds, you want to start over on a different account to kind of gain your way up the rankings for the online competition. It makes sense in competition where points can be rewarded to your pokemon club account the date of birth on your nintendo account and pokemon training club account must match if they do not no points will be rewarded this is again another step to kind of make sure that you're just not randomly making pokemon trainer club accounts and po nintendo online accounts that everything must be synced and linked up in order to reward players who do want to earn championship points for these online competitions that they can earn it in a way where people are not abusing the system again having multiple pokemon trainer club accounts 
accounts and having multiple Nintendo online service accounts. This makes it so you have to have your trainer club account match up with your Nintendo online account in order for those points to transfer. I think it's a good idea, again, to just stop people who spoof or who are just making up fake accounts in order to participate to give them more chances in participating in these online competitions. I will participate in this competition after reading and agreeing to the tournament rules, eligibility, requirements, warnings, and so on, as published in Pokemon Sword and Shield Game News and the official Pokemon website of the Pokemon Company in its subsidies. I believe that's how you say that, right? Sub sub subsidies, subsidies, since regulations, do you want to enter in this online competition? Check in for the status of the competition. Please do not turn off the power. Then it's loading. And it says your entry is complete. Once you get your entry is complete, you have officially been signed up for the Galar Beginnings online competition. And it says participate in an official online competition. Now the online competition hasn't officially started, so you cannot click it to participate. The official competition period starts on Friday, December 6th, and it ends on Sunday, December 8th. So it is that whole weekend. You basically can jump in and participate in the Galar Beginnings online competition. Do note that you have to sign up you have to complete this sign up period by november 15th all the way to thursday december 5th the day before the competition actually starts and that is it guys that's exactly how you sign up for the galar beginnings online competition let me know in the comment section below if you still have any questions on how to sign up if you still confused about anything especially with them ditching the pokemon global link i would think there is going to be a couple of people confused because the pokemon global link was a huge to me was a huge hurdle to get people to sign up for these online competitions now that it's in the game it should be pretty easy but again if you're still having troubles finding it or whatever let's talk about it in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts of the galar beginnings online competition in the comment section below what team are you going to be bringing in i want to hear from you guys i think we can have fun talking about this online competition and what teams a lot of people may be bringing in as you guys know i answer all comments so again let's chat it up down there if you're new around here hit that subscribe button i do videos like this every day and if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video hit that bell ring it it's gonna let you know once i got a new video that's posted up if you enjoyed the video you found it informant hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over and to recommend it so other people can enjoy it and be informed peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one like always guys i'm daddy i'm a fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one